Tea time will try. Why are people making a big deal out of it because Lil Wayne is not headlining Super Bowl New Orleans? This is not the first time that it's been in New Orleans. Beyonce's halftime show wasn't in Houston. Michael Jackson's wasn't in Gary. J Lo's wasn't in New York. And Shakira's damn sure wasn't in Spain. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo Trapping. I'm back, 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 big, back. I'm back again. Today we got Wendy's. Wendy's. Today we got Wendy's. I just had to say that again. <laughs> um, let me take all this stuff out of the bag, y'all, because I got a few. Th oh, hell. I got a few things. We got the spicy nuggets. Oh, 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 yeah, I can't wait. If I can get this open. And of course, we got the baconator fries, y'all. I like these fries when they're done right. I ain't gonna lie, I've had them when they was done wrong. And anybody that's like, well, what's done wrong? You would know. <laughs> you would know. Like it come with cheese sauce, melted cheese. I got it one time, but they didn't. Um, they didn't melt the cheese, and they didn't tell me beforehand that they didn't have. Um, that they didn't have the melted cheese. They told me after the fact, so I was like, I'm not already paid for it, and I wasn't finna sit there and wait for a refund or not. But I got time for that. Um, y'all look, oh my god. Oh, that is the sloppiest bacon that I've ever seen, and I love it. This is the pretzel bun baconator. Y'all know I like my burgers to be sloppy. I do, I don't mind because I feel like it's, it's gonna be a sloppy mess anyway, but that's the good part. Like, y'all ain't never just been craving just a big, juicy, greasy burger. Look, we got two of them. And they both just messy like I like it. I'm about to tear this burger up. I might go for that one first because that one look kind of pretty. That one look kind of pretty. Pretty. Pretty hands. Mm oh, let me not do that. Get damn copyrighted. We don't, yeah. I know how I'm going to organize this. And last but not least. Oh. I don't know what the hell sandwich this is, but I got it anyway. I don't remember. And that's We're going to stack that like that. Do y'all think that's going to fall? <laughs> I kind of do, actually. But hopefully I'm quick enough. To where I, you know, I start to whoop, 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 and a whoop, 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 and a whoop, 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 before it's time. Okay, my water right there. Okay. I knew that was gonna happen. I said that was gonna happen. I said it was gonna fall. Now, luckily, the whole damn thing didn't fall, but this is gonna be the thumbnail. I had to make that face, and once I do the, once I start the topic, y'all gonna understand why I made that face. Cause, ugh, people just get on my nerve. But yeah, let's open up these sauces, these sauces, 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 sauces. Did I say grace? Oh, Father God, I come today to ask you if I already said this. Don't be mad at me. Um, let the food be great. Amen, amen, amen. Mom, darling, amen. Okay, cool. I don't know if I said it already. Yeah. Ooh. Wendy's baking me good. Ooh, it would be good. Ooh. Ooh hoo Y'all look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Well, 
Now, why would the air come on as soon as I stop? See, I, be t I don't know. It, I swear to God, the air was not on. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Let's just get a nugget. One little nugget. Why does leather so big? Rip you off. Rip you off the burger, you be acting brand new. Grown pipe, grown pipe. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna bit my cheek. Oh, oh, I'm just dropping stuff. Might as well eat it and fill up. Why would they do that? Tea time will try. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now listen. <coughs> what do I want to start without cursing? Okay. Why are people making a big deal out of it because Lil Wayne is not headlining Super Bowl New Orleans? This is not the first time that it's been in New Orleans. Beyonce's halftime show wasn't in Houston. Michael Jackson's wasn't in Gary. J-Lo's wasn't in New York. And Shakira's damn sure wasn't in Spain. Where did y'all get this idea that just because it's in the city where you're from, you have to be the headliner because that's never been the case. And then blaming Jay-Z as if the hosting city doesn't make the final decision on who they want to perform. Like, it, just, it reminds me that y'all don't be knowing nothing and y'all just be talking just to talk and y'all complain just to complain. And before I go deep into the conversation, I just want to say, 
I love Lil Wayne older music. However, I'm not about to go this hard for a black man who said that Black Lives Matter isn't a thing. Lil Wayne openly said that he's a rich black man. That should show everybody that America believes Black Lives Matter. Why the hell would I be going hard for you to perform on the show when you say stupid stuff like that? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, but it's, it's so many things wrong with this. The, the stupid about what y'all are doing and what y'all are saying. Let me just start there. Again, Lil Wayne is great. I don't think nobody's denying that. Absolutely nobody. And if you are, you're insane. However, again, this is the same Lil Wayne who cannot remember his lyrics when he performs. But y'all expect him to put on a Super Bowl halftime show. Like, I really need y'all to think. When big corporations make decisions like this, it's about who is marketable, who can appeal to millions. Hello? That like, I think that's the biggest part that y'all are missing. Like, be for real. Tell me right now who's more marketable between Kendrick Lamar and Lil Wayne. And there will be your answer on why it wasn't Lil Wayne. It's simple. It's really simple. Like, there's no other way around it. I and mean, I'm seeing people who are like, oh my God, what is he going to perform other than not like us? Did y'all not know that Kendrick Lamar is a 17-time Grammy Award winner? Y'all think not like us is his only hit, the hit that hasn't even won an award yet? Like, come on, come on. And now let me get on the people. Let me get on the people. The celebrities. Because I'll be forgiven. No, I don't. I don't be forgiven. I just get reminded every day. That they say stupid stuff as well. I was about to say, I'll be forgetting that they say stupid stuff, but I don't. I don't. It's just a constant reminder because they constantly say stupid stuff. Birdman. Yeah, we're going to start with um, Young Money, Cash Money. Because I got some words for damn near all of them. I want to make sure I'm not quoting any of them wrongly, if that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so Birdman decides to say that this is some hating, excuse me, some hating stuff. Basically, I'm assuming because, and let's be clear, Birdman nor Nicki Minaj put an at on it. They crazy, but they ain't that crazy. And I just, to me, I don't understand how you can get on Twitter and type so many letters, but you refuse to type Jay-Z and or Beyonce. It's simple. It's really simple. The way that y'all typed all these other letters, that Beyonce is not a long name and Jay-Z is even shorter. It's really easy. Um, but Birdman decides to say that this is some Hayden S-H-I-T. And it, it really baffled me because this is the same Birdman that was blocking Lil Wayne from releasing music. This is the same Birdman that was stealing music. I'm sorry, stealing money from Lil Wayne. If I'm not mistaken, Wayne owed millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars in taxes. Jay Z paid that, not Birdman. So, Birdman, <laughs> I have no idea why you even decided to join the conversation. 
The Super Bowl halftime ain't nothing compared to what you did to that man. Give him his money back. Pay him his money. You want to talk about what you allegedly think somebody did dirty to him, but we know for a fact what you did dirty to him. Speak on it. And then we have Nikki, 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 Nikki. She's on one of her rants, per usual. Nothing new. It's kind of expected. Every time something big happens, we know she's going to, you know, them fingers going to get to type in. Um, so let me... Denying a young black man of what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego. Is Kendrick Lamar not a black man? And this is when this is why I say that y'all be sounding stupid. To say that he's denying another she said he's denying a young black man this opportunity. Is Kendra White? <laughs> because I'm like, how is that even like, where does that even come into play? Like, girl, shut up. Like. Oh. Uh oh. It makes absolutely no sense. But we're not done. Let me pull up the rest. Home. And then somebody tweeted her. <clears throat> somebody told her to sit this one out because Wayne wouldn't be defending her. Which he don't. Which he don't. When Nikki get when Nikki put herself um into these situations, don't none of these people that she be defending ever defend her. So she said, Oh, so you think speaking up on injustice within your workplace should be the only time that let's not talk about injustice, Nikki, because <laughs> we not gonna go there. We not. We don't we not. We're not, but we can. We definitely can. Um, let's see. And then she also tweets, my stomach growling like hell. I'm feeding you, I'm feeding you. And then she goes, y'all know his next move is going to be about a certain someone being treated unfairly. Again. You can't call yourself the realest rapper alive if you don't know how to say somebody's name. The same way you put Megan's name in that song, which, if I'm not mistaken, out of the years and years and years of her career, this is the first time that, you know, her name was put on it like that. Um, a certain someone. I'm pretty sure the letters that it takes to spell a certain someone use more energy than it would have taken to just type in B-E-Y-O-N-T-E. -E. It's simple. It's simple. Open up that can of worms. Don't knock on the door. That like, I hate when people try to cause a big commotion and then don't just boom. When you talk about other people, not just boom. Like, girl, what? Y'all know what I say. If it ain't directed, it ain't respected. Period. But again, I just don't understand this outrage. It's really stupid to me. It really makes no sense. Even if it wasn't in New Orleans. Like, people just find something to complain. It, ugh. Y'all ain't said Lil Wayne name all damn year. 
Now all of a sudden, like, and then Regine, of course, she didn't put a name on it either, which is crazy to me as well, because she always got so much to say. She said they envy greatness. Facts. Because right now, y'all are envious of Kendrick, because he got chosen to play Super Bowl. Simple. Now, let's be for real. If she's referring to Jay-Z, Sean Carter, what the hell do he, like, <laughs> why the hell would he be hating on Lil Wayne? Like, like, come on. And I don't want anybody to think that any of this video is to disrespect Wayne because it's not. The only thing I'm necessarily calling Wayne out on is his ignorant comments. That's why I wouldn't fight for you. Even if I wouldn't give a damn if it was Kendrick, wasn't Kendrick, da 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 I wouldn't be fighting for Wayne to do the Super Bowl performance because you don't fight for people like me. Clearly. Because you said you being rich should show people that black lives do matter. That is one of the dumbest things that I've ever heard in my life. One of the dumbest. Like, you can't even justify that stupidity. That was pure stupid. Like, downright, low down, in the gutter, dumbest. Oh, I'm a curse. <laughs> Dumb. That's what that is. And then to, to piggyback off that, nobody that's having these conversations know what other conversations were being had or would have been had for the past boom, of years. People who have headlined the Super Bowl has brought someone out, has brought someone out. Beyonce shared that huge stage with her group members. Not because she needed to, but because she wanted to and she felt like they worked for that opportunity. Coldplay, they brought out Beyonce, excuse me, Beyonce and Bruno Mars, who are probably arguably current day bigger than them. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna, she ain't bring out nobody. She brought out her, her baby and her stomach. Katy Perry brought out Missy Elliott, who's much bigger than her. Um, J-Lo and Shakira, they shared it. The, the ones with Dr. Dre, them, it was about 30 or 40 different singers or rappers on this stage. Usher brought out all these different people. What makes them think that at no point in time, Kendrick either discussed or planned to discuss having Lil Wayne or cash money in general be a part of that. Like nobody stopped and said, wait. He might bring him out. Because let's be real. If I'm watching the Super Bowl halftime, me personally, I would not want to watch Lil Wayne perform. For 30 minutes. I wouldn't buy a Lil Wayne concert ticket. That doesn't mean I doesn't like his I don't like his music. I just don't think I'm gonna get the performance that I'm wanting to see. It's only but so many people I will actually pay to go see, if we're being honest. However, if Lil Wayne was brought out during somebody's halftime show, and I know for a fact he's probably gonna give us two or three of his greatest hits, that's a moment. Sometimes you don't need a big moment. You just need that moment. Or let me let me clarify that. You don't need a long moment. You just need that moment. I hate to keep bringing her up, but think about Beyonce during Coldplay's halftime. Beyonce only came out there and performed Formation, and that was all she needed. That was all she needed. Like, the... the her performing formation was talked about more than, no disrespect, Coldplay's whole set. 
that would have been a moment for Weezy. And it also would have been a beneficial moment because, like I said, he's admitted to not being able to remember his lyrics anymore. But we don't need 30 minutes of that. All he needs is that moment and there's less time for him to F up. Let's just, like, let's just be for real. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. It's dumb. Y'all are mad for nothing. Um, and like I said, even if it wasn't in New Orleans, it could have been on Mars. And right now, Kendrick Lamar would have been a smart option because he has this big momentum behind him right now. Hello, hello, hello. When you have a business mindset, you learn business or you understand business a little bit easier. And that just let me that just goes to show that a lot of people that I've seen complain don't have a business mindset because it it is really simple. Again, they want views. They those views equate to dollars. They want sponsors. Those sponsors equate to dollars. In what world would Lil Wayne performing a halftime show in 2025 would bring them all the views and money that they are looking for? Hello. Make it make sense. Kendrick is li not like us is literally a contender for a record of the year and or a song of the year at the Grammys, the biggest award show right now. Why would it? <laughs> they ride that wave like uh, 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 uh. it makes no sense makes no sense when Beyonce did it both times she had an album on the way now granted they ain't know that <laughs> but she's still Beyonce when The Weeknd did it The Weeknd now I didn't know The Weeknd be selling the way that he sell and I, I me personally I don't understand why but that don't take away from the fact that they're selling like hell. I didn't know he was that big of an artist. A lot, excuse me, I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was as big as he really is. So that made sense. Gaga made sense. Gaga is Gaga. Like Katy Perry, at the time she performed, it made sense. She was huge. One of the biggest pop stars at the moment. Like, mm hmm. I think people don't be thinking. And people always think the stuff is deeper than what it is. That's another thing. And then you have one ding bet to get on Twitter. And say a stupid thought. And then you have another ding bat that sees it and agrees with that stupid thought. And they said, oh, I'm not the only stupid thought person. I'm not the only ding bat that thought this. So now it's real. It has to be true. And then it just spread like wildfire. And all of a sudden it's true. Because one ding bat said it. And more ding bats agreed. There's a bunch of dang bats. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to go to town now. I'm full. I'm stuffed. Jesus. I'm about to eat the bacon out there, though. Well, that's just that part. Oh, that was cool. So, y'all know what to do after I finish chewing. Is it not always another nugget in there? If y'all haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. 
bam, hit the bell next to it, bam. So you've been on Friday's every time I drop a new video, but if you're from the same connected with their trap, jump. Into the description, my squad down to the bottom. Boom, right there. Gonna see me social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that. Any, boom, 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 whatever. That was like, was John, was one, was John, was he was one, was he was one, was he was one, he was one, I was just that was some. Other than that, it's been real. Air travels out. Air travels out.